barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe button nine wives come in august nine wives come in august my film you guys are gonna love it short film it'll probably be anywhere between 15 20 minutes uh strong film um as you guys know i've been doing a lot of research on malcolm and the nation of islam and his relationship with elijah muhammad that's coming the link you should have a link by the end of the weekend and the movie's gonna drop in august i'll have the poster and all that and don't forget tomorrow morning we giving away back free backpacks free haircuts you know what i mean for our community in the city of inglewood man uh go to my dm go to my so go to my uh ig silent heroes and you'll see the address and all that but i want to talk about something and, and salute to all the kings that's giving back to their communities man our communities global community it means well means a lot andre ward andre ward said some hellacious shit yesterday it, 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 it seemed like the white man in his ear told him, hey, Andre Ward, we need you to say this about Andre, about Deontay Wilder because you have a gold medal. You was the pound for pound king. And it it might sound credible to you. He, he was unsure if he was mentally ready. He was unsure if he was the king. Was he going to be prepared for the moment? He was blocking out the media. He was blocking out the sounds and all that. Well, how about Tyson Fury? Tyson Fury wasn't prepared and you know it. Andre Ward you know he was fat you know he wasn't training because you can we have primary proofs that he was not training and or prepared to step into the ring July 24th it's simple go back to the YouTube videos of the first two fights if Andre Ward you was fighting this man you would say oh well he has a habit of not defending his belts so Andre Ward, I got a question for you. Are you a company man or are you a man's man? I'm going to repeat this shit. Are you a company man or are you a man's man? Are you going to speak out against Tyson Fury? Nah, you not. Nah, nah. You got to pay your bills. There's no retirement in boxing. You know you got to play the long game. You got to play the long game. All that disrespect. You spent two minutes, three minutes... A monologue about Deontay Wilder's incapable mental state. But you didn't say nothing about Tyson Fury being 280, 85 pounds. Wearing the cross, Andre, son of God, Ward. He was wearing a gold chain with a cross. You didn't speak about the... Uh, the uh the the graven images of God that he was he he's been maliciously manipulating your God, yo Jesus. But you don't say nothing about that. You know why? Because that man in your ear controls everything you say. Everything you say comes from the man in the ear, in your ear. You ain't said nothing positive about a black fighter. You Let's see. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You pretended you were silent when Timothy Bradley went hard on uh, uh, Terrence Crawford, even though you agreed. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, you know you was unimpressed, but because y'all on different sides of the fence, y'all not getting along right now, you didn't truly want to take shots at him. But, but, but you linked in. You linked in. Over your lead foot, you linked in, but you got back. But you had your guard up, you know what I mean? So you didn't get hit. You got away with one there. You got on me. You got on me for always talking negative about black fighters. I didn't see you protect Carissa Shields against Steve Kim when he was at ESPN. I didn't see you protect Carissa Shields when Dan Raphael was going on. You didn't protect none of them. And you know what you did when Timothy Bradley was going hard on Terrence Crawford? See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. I protect my friends. I protect my friends. You don't. You want that check. You want to be the, the quintessential man. You know what people, You know, Andre Ward is that guy. He want people to say, man, you speak well for a Negro. Oh man, Andre Ward, we're happy to, oh, we're happy to have you, man. You know, 
you was chosen over uh, uh, our boss was thinking about uh, Evander Holyfield and um, and uh, Floyd Mayweather. But what separated but what separated uh, you from them was how eloquently you spoke and your faith in white Jesus. <laughs> I resent that shit. Even though me, Mr. Ward, college degree, Emmy nominated, award winning film producer, three time author. I mean, I just did a film, three time award winning school teacher, teacher of the year. I don't tolerate that shit from white people. So when people say, I'm, see, Andre Ward say, oh, who are you? Who are this? I mean, I done did more for my commitment. And I'm talking directly to Andre Ward because it's disgusting to hear him speak about Deontay Wilder, who's had 10 title defenses. Now he's, now you're questioning everything about him? You should know that, Andre Ward. They question you in a close victory with Sergey Kovalev. And the black fans got behind you and you disrespected the black fans by telling me you didn't ask for our support. That's why you have no support now. You're going to be a forgotten man in the sport of boxing because you're alienate the only fan base that will fuck with you. That's it. That's why I question you, Andre Ward. Are you a company's man or are you a man's man? You want to be employee of the month? Is that what you want to be? You need me to make another meme? Shit, man. Andre Ward is, I, I, me personally, me personally, he will never stand up to a white man's authority. Never. I don't believe it. Not one bit, not one iota. I don't believe he will. Because he wouldn't do it to Kathy Duva. He wouldn't do it to Sergey Kovalev. But he will challenge me, but he won't challenge Kathy Duva. You know what he'll say? They. You know what he'll say about me? Oh, that fucking YouTuber don't know shit. Oh, he don't know shit. He don't know I'm approaching down. I'm not going to say it publicly, but I'm getting there. Woo, Lord. <laughs> I done passed a million, Andre. I got to talk to this nigga directly because I know how they get on there and try and destroy you. I passed a million dollars a long time ago. You know what I mean? I'm, a, I'm, I'm closer to eight figures than I am to seven, nigga. All right? Get that through your fucking head. S-O-G, Andre Ward. Come on, man. You can't make this shit up, man. He spent two minutes on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I see why Shakur Stevenson don't fuck with you. I see why Shakur Stevenson don't fuck with you. I see it, dog. I see it, man. You ain't thorough, man. Andre Ward, you ain't thorough, man. It's something, I question that. And I don't care about the backlash I get. I don't care. I don't care. You got about three or four people. Man, come on, man. Stand up like a man. Tell the truth, Andre Ward. He's unfit. He ain't did nothing but go 42-0 and with 41 knockouts, 10 title defenses, and now everything done fucked up. I would honestly say Kovalev is equivalent to Luis Ortiz. No one will fight him. But Deontay Wilder, no one will fight Kovalev but you. Give him that same respect. Isn't that what you told me? Give the black man that same respect. Didn't you tell me that in our interview? I've never watched it because I'm so ashamed of you. I've never watched that interview ever again because of men like you. And I give the same energy to white men and I give the same energy to black men. Your boss, Bob Arum, ask him how many, how many times we done cursed each other out over the past, our 12-year relationship. Ask Eddie Hearn. Y'all kiss up the white men like it's, oh my God. How the fuck can you be the pound for pound king? Oh my God. Boy, these Steinbergs and Schwartz and... Got these motherfuckers wearing suits and ties and yes, sir, no, ma'am. No, they don't say no, ma'am. They say yes, sir, yes, sir. It's just despicable to hear you say that about Deontay Wilder and he's never showed up like that. He's never showed up like that. And if, and if you think he did, one night out of 45 nights, 
one night out of 45 nights. You're doing the same thing that you accuse media of. They never going to give you credit. So you're speaking for a drug cheat, Andre Ward, SOG Ward. You're speaking for a drug cheat. SOG Ward, you're speaking for a woman. And, and I, I, I don't give a fuck because what's your relationship is what's your relationship. But I'm speaking directly to Andre Ward. You're SOG Ward, but you're speaking up for a man who cheats on his wife. And I don't care. Because what, what, what you do in your house, but I'm speaking to Andre Ward and his moral compass. You're talking to a man who took steroids, Olympic gold medalist. You're, you're an Olympic gold medalist and you're taken up for a convicted cheater. Liar. It is. Be, I don't grasp this shit. The one thing about Fred. Fred don't change. Fred to pull up on any man. If if I did, if you disagree with me, I'm pulling up. If you disrespect me, I'm pulling up. I'm not afraid of no man, no man. I'm not, and I have a history of doing so. So Andre Ward, what you gonna be, a company man or a man's man? That disrespect for Deontay Wilder is just. But you you disrespected me. You disrespected Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? But, you know, I'm the opportunist. I'm definitely an opportunist. You call me, I, I, I accept it. But you the one who had a grand opening for your for your store the Friday before a major fight. Would, would, would that be considered an opportunist? I'm just asking because you know you had a crowd. You knew you had media there. Is that being opportunistic? Just asking for a friend. Taking advantage of a situation. That's opportunist, right? Because you see it in a negative light. Anyways, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm just... The disrespect for Deontay... Andre Ward should be castigated. Did I say that word correctly? He needs to be on the island all by himself. So he can be super Negro. That's, Andre Ward needs to go over there so he can be super Negro. F for real. Because he wants to be super Negro. Super articulate white jesus fearing negro on espn that's what you should put super super original super original and godly super original godly that that that, that sog man this white jesus I'm, I'm willing to bet you i'm listen carefully to that tia Fimo lopez lomachenko fight Whoever the network wants to win, Andre Ward is going to go against. And you can tell by the commentary. You can tell. You, you'll be able to tell. He never has his own opinion. When he's challenged, he'll have his own opinion. He'll he'll digress and be like, well, well, you know, uh, I don't want to be too tough on people. But, uh, but, you know, every fighter has nights like that. Well, why don't you say the same thing about Deontay Wilder? Give him credence. Isn't that what you asked it for me? I stand in fire. I stand in truth. You know what I mean? You hiding behind that God-fearing image, man. Be a man. You, you talking all calculated and conserved, and you know you want to speak out. Because you know why? They hired you to be that way. Measured. Calculated. <laughs> well, your calculations are wrong, Andre Ward, about me. And about Deontay Wilder. Because your boy Tyson Fury that you protected. Womanizer goes against your faith. Right? You're protecting. And Tyson Fury. Me personally. A man can do his own thing as it pertains to his relationship. I don't care. I have. I, I, I do what I want to as a man. You can do what you want to as a man. But I'm speaking just to uh, Andre Ward and his moral compass. If you guys understand what I'm saying. I'm not condemning Tyson Fury. But I can't see how he's protecting a man like that when he says he's God fearing, you know, uh, God fearing, uh, caught cheating twice, pulled out of fights three times, steroids, drugs, alcohol, publicly says he wants prostitutes. Is that who God ordained Andre S.O.G. Son of God Ward to protect? 
Or how about Deontay Wilder, whose father is a preacher? Deontay Wilder's father is a preacher. Became a bronze medalist in 18 months. Got off the truck at 21 years old. Shouldn't you be rooting for that as a God-fearing man? His dad is a preacher's kid. You heard his interviews. They sound like sermons sometimes. They're inspiring. There's a piece of me that believes you're jealous of the man that he is. I think so. I think so. I um, And it is what it is. I'll see you in October, and uh, I'll be there. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, you and Joe Tessitore. Oh, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to see y'all doing y'all show. I can't wait. I, 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 it's just disgusting. I might interfere with it. I might, <laughs> I might put signs behind it, behind it, behind. See, I know where cameras are. See, I'm a producer and a director. So I know what I, I know the single shots and the wide shots. I might put a sign up on your live. You only got to be up one time and it's going to go viral. I don't give a fuck if the security tell me to pull away. <laughs> I can put a sign up behind you, Andre Ward. That'll be more powerful than you ever doing anything to me. Yeah, you could beat me up. You can do all this, but guess what? You got a job, I don't. I repeat, you got a job. You got a boss. I don't. And that's the biggest difference in the world. So enjoy flying first class to be treated like last class. Because you're still a nigga, Mr. Ward. You're still a nigga. But you don't believe it. Because they shake your hand when they, when they give you your check. They say, great job. You like pats on the back. Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you soon. Peace.